Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. With SmartArt, you can present information in a more visual way, using graphics and diagrams instead of regular text. Not only can this add more color and impact to parts of your presentation, it can also help you illustrate ideas that may be difficult to put into words. In this example, I'd like to create a graphic that illustrates the chain of command listed here. One way to do this is to take our existing text and convert it to SmartArt. First, select the text you want to use, then go ahead and right-click. Mouse over Convert to SmartArt, and a little menu will appear. Your options will be somewhat limited because it's harder for PowerPoint to translate content this way. I want a little more flexibility, so I'm going to show you how to create SmartArt from scratch. To get started, go to the Insert tab, then click the SmartArt command. A window will appear where you'll find a list of categories, the options you have to choose from, and also a preview to the right. The type of graphic I'm looking for should be listed under Hierarchy. Why don't we try this one? When you're ready, click OK, and the graphic will be added to your presentation. Now you can just click inside one of the shapes and start entering your text. PowerPoint will even resize it automatically to make sure all the information fits. Alternatively, you can click the tiny arrow on the left side of the graphic. This will open the task pane. You can also enter your information here by typing next to the bullets. Either method is fine, just use whichever one you prefer. Sometimes the task pane is better if you're working with a large graphic or something that contains a lot of text. Next I'd like to point out the two tabs that appear any time you have your SmartArt selected. You can see them up here on the ribbon. We'll take a look at the Design tab first. From here, an easy way to add more shapes to your graphic is to select a shape near the spot you have in mind, then click the arrow next to the command that says Add Shape. You can add one after or before your selected shape, which will place them on the same level right next to each other, or you can add one above or below. On second thought, I should have placed this one level higher in the chain of command, right below the president. That's okay. We can change the level of any shape using Demote to move it down, or Promote to move it up. You can also adjust your layout from within the task pane. I'll use the same shape to demonstrate. Press the Tab key to Demote, then Backspace to promote it again. It's a lot like creating an outline with a multi-level list. You can even add bullets to the list by pressing Enter which will create another shape in the graphic. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the shapes I'm not using by selecting them both, then pressing Backspace or Delete on my keyboard. Now my SmartArt is almost done. It's just a little plain. So the next thing I'd like to show you is how to change the look of your graphic using SmartArt styles. Click the drop-down arrow here to see the full list of styles, and, as always, mouse over the options for a preview. I think I like this one the best. I recommend taking a look at colors, too. Just click the Change Colors command. These come from whatever theme or color palette you've applied to your presentation, so your options will vary. Finally, it's never too late to change the layout of your graphic. Your choices can be found in the Layouts group. I'd like to try something a little more outside the box. How about this? If you prefer to format the graphic yourself, instead of relying on the built-in styles and colors, just switch over to the Format tab. Here you can fine-tune the shapes, change the text properties, and even apply special effects, like a drop shadow. SmartArt makes it easy to present information that's both eye-catching and easy to understand. 
It's a great way to incorporate more visuals into your presentation, no matter what your skill level is with graphics.